In statistics, the standard deviation SD, also represented by the lowercase Greek letter sigma sigma or the Latin letter S is a measure that is used to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. A low standard deviation indicates that the data points tend to be close to the mean also called the expected value of the set, while a high standard deviation indicates that the data points are spread out over a wider range of values. The standard deviation of a random variable, statistical population, data set, or probability distribution is the square root of its variance. It is algebraically simpler, though in practice less robust, than the average absolute deviation. A useful property of the standard deviation is that, unlike the variance, it is expressed in the same units as the data. In addition to expressing the variability of a population, the standard deviation is commonly used to measure confidence in statistical conclusions. For example, the margin of error in polling data is determined by calculating the expected standard deviation in the results if the same poll were to be conducted multiple times. This derivation of a standard deviation is often called the standard error of the estimate or standard error of the mean when referring to a mean it is computed as the standard deviation of all the means that would be computed from that population if an infinite number of samples were drawn and a mean for each sample were computed it is very important to note that the standard deviation of a population and the standard error of a statistic derived from that population such as the mean are quite different but related related by the inverse of the square root of the number of observations the reported margin of error of a poll is computed from the standard error of the mean or alternatively from the product of the standard deviation of the population and the inverse of the square root of the sample size, which is the same thing and is typically about twice the standard deviation, the half width of a 95% confidence interval. In science, many researchers report the standard deviation of experimental data, and only effects that fall much farther than two standard deviations away from what would have been expected are considered statistically significant. Normal random error or variation in the measurements is in this way distinguished from likely genuine effects or associations. The standard deviation is also important in finance, where the standard deviation on the rate of return on an investment is a measure of the volatility of the investment. When only a sample of data from a population is available, the term standard deviation of the sample or sample standard deviation can refer to either the above-mentioned quantity as applied to those data or to a modified quantity that is an unbiased estimate of the population standard deviation the standard deviation of the entire population. Topic. Basic examples Topic. Sample standard deviation of metabolic rate of northern fulmers Logan gives the following example. Furness and Bryant measured the resting metabolic rate for eight male and six female breeding northern fulmers. The table shows the Furness data set. The graph shows the metabolic rate for males and females. By visual inspection, it appears that the variability of the metabolic rate is greater for males than for females. The sample standard deviation of the metabolic rate for the female fulmers is calculated as follows. The formula for the sample standard deviation is S equals 1 N minus 1 I equals 1 N x i minus x 2 display style s equals sqrt frac 1 n 1 sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i bar x caret 2 where x 1 x 2 x n Display style text style x underscore one x underscore two l dots x underscore n are the observed values of the sample items x display style text style bar x is the mean value of these observations and n is the number of observations in the sample. In the sample standard deviation formula for this example, the numerator is the sum of the square deviation of each individual animal's metabolic rate from the mean metabolic rate. The table below shows the calculation of this sum of square deviations for the female fulmers. 
For females, the sum of squared deviations is 886,047.09, as shown in the table. The denominator in the sample standard deviation formula is n1, where n is the number of animals. In this example, there are n. Topic: 6 females, so the denominator is 6 to 1. 5. The sample standard deviation for the female fulmers is therefore s equals i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 n minus 1 equals 886047.09 5 equals 420.96 Display style s equals sqrt frac sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot two n one equals sqrt frac eight hundred and eighty six thousand and forty seven point oh nine five equals four hundred and twenty point nine six. For the male fulmers, a similar calculation gives a sample standard deviation of eight hundred and ninety four point three seven, approximately twice as large as the standard deviation for the females. The graph shows the metabolic rate data, the means red dots, and the standard deviations red lines for females and males. Use of the sample standard deviation implies that these 14 fulmers are a sample from a larger population of fulmers. If these 14 fulmers comprise the entire population, perhaps the last 14 surviving fulmers, then instead of the sample standard deviation, the calculation would use the population standard deviation. In the population standard deviation formula, the denominator is n instead of n1. It is rare that measurements can be taken for an entire population, so, by default, statistical computer programs calculate the sample standard deviation. Similarly, journal articles report the sample standard deviation unless otherwise specified. Topic. Population standard deviation of grades of 8 students Suppose that the entire population of interest was 8 students in a particular class. For a finite set of numbers, the population standard deviation is found by taking the square root of the average of the square deviations of the values subtracted from their average value. The marks of a class of 8 students, that is, a statistical population, are the following 8 values. Two, 4 4 4 5 5 7 9 display style 2 4 4 4 5 5 7 9 these eight data points have the mean average of 5 mu equals 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 8 equals 5 Display style mu equals frac two plus four plus four plus four plus five plus five plus seven plus nine eight equals five. First, calculate the deviations of each data point from the mean, and square the result of each. 2 minus 5 2 equals minus 3 2 equals 9 5 minus 5 2 equals 0 2 equals 0 4 minus 5 2 equals minus 1 2 equals 1 5 minus 5 2 equals 0 2 equals 0 4 
minus five two equals minus one two equals one seven minus five two equals two two equals four four minus five two equals minus one two equals one nine minus five two equals four two equals sixteen Display style begin array LL two to five carrot two equals minus three carrot two equals nine and then five to five carrot two equals zero carrot two equals zero four to five carrot two equals minus one carrot two equals one and then five to five carrot two equals zero carrot two equals zero four to five carrot two equals minus one carrot two equals one and then seven to five carrot two equals two carrot two equals four four to five Carrot two equals minus one. Carrot two equals one and then nine to five. Carrot two equals four. Carrot two equals sixteen. End array. The variance is the mean of these values. Sigma two equals nine plus one plus one plus one plus zero. Plus zero plus four plus sixteen eight equals four. Display style sigma carrot two equals frac nine plus one plus one plus one plus zero plus zero plus four plus sixteen eight equals four. And the population standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance sigma equals 4 equals 2 display style sigma equals sqrt 4 equals 2 this formula is valid only if the eight values with which we began form the complete population if the values instead were a random sample drawn from some large parent population for example, they were 8 marks randomly and independently chosen from a class of 2 million, then one often divides by 7 which is n minus 1 instead of 8 which is n in the denominator of the last formula. In that case the result of the original formula would be called the sample standard deviation. Dividing by n minus 1 rather than by n gives an unbiased estimate of the variance of the larger parent population. This is known as Bessel's correction. Topic: <inaudible> Standard deviation of average height for adult men. If the population of interest is approximately normally distributed, the standard deviation provides information on the proportion of observations above or below certain values. For example, the average height for adult men in the United States is about 70 inches (177.8 centimeters), with a standard deviation of around 3 inches (7.62 centimeters). This means that most men, about 68%, assuming a normal distribution, have a height within 3 inches (7.62 centimeters) of the mean (67 to 73 inches, 170.18 to 185.42 centimeters) one standard deviation, and almost all men, about 95%, have a height within 6 inches (15.24 centimeters) of the mean (64 to 76 inches, 162.56 to 100). 93.04 cm two standard deviations. If the standard deviation was zero, then all men would be exactly 70 inches cm tall. If the standard deviation were 20 inches cm, then men would have much more variable heights, with a typical range of about 50 to 90 inches Three standard deviations account for 99.7% of the sample population being studied, assuming the distribution is normal bell-shaped. See the 68 to 95 minus 99.7 rule, or the empirical rule, for more information. Topic. Definition of population values Let x be a random variable with mean value mu e x equals mu. Display style operator name e x equals mu. Here the operator e denotes the average or expected value of x. Then the standard deviation of x is the quantity sigma 
equals e x minus mu 2 equals e x 2 plus e minus 2 mu x plus e mu 2 equals e x 2 minus 2 mu e x plus mu 2 equals e x 2 minus 2 mu 2 plus mu 2 equals e x 2 minus mu 2 equals e x 2 minus e x 2 Display style begin align sigma and equals sqrt operator name e x mu carrot two and equals sqrt operator name e x carrot two plus operator name e minus two mu x plus operator name e mu carrot two and equals sqrt operator name e x carrot two minus two mu operator name e x plus mu carrot two and equals sqrt operator name e x carrot two minus two mu carrot two plus mu carrot 2 and equals sqrt operator name e x carrot 2 mu carrot 2 and equals sqrt operator name e x carrot 2 operator name e x carrot 2 end aligned derived using the properties of expected value. In other words, the standard deviation sigma sigma is the square root of the variance of x, i.e., it is the square root of the average value of x minus mu 2. The standard deviation of a univariate probability distribution is the same as that of a random variable having that distribution. Not all random variables have a standard deviation, since these expected values need not exist. For example, the standard deviation of a random variable that follows a Cauchy distribution is undefined because its expected value mu is undefined. Topic: <laughs> discrete random variable In the case where x takes random values from a finite data set x1, x2, xn, with each value having the same probability, the standard deviation is sigma equals 1 n x1 minus mu 2 plus x2 minus mu 2 plus plus x n minus mu 2 w h e r e mu equals 1 n x 1 plus plus X N Display style sigma equals SQRT frac one N left x underscore one mu carrot two plus x underscore two mu carrot two plus C D O T S plus x underscore N mu carrot two right room where mu equals frac one N x underscore one plus C D O T S plus x underscore N or using summation notation Sigma equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i minus mu 2 w h e r e mu equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i 
Display style sigma equals sqrt frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i mu carrot two room where mu equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i. If instead of having equal probabilities, the values have different probabilities, let x one have probability p one, x two have probability p two, x n have probability p n. In this case, the standard deviation will be sigma equals i equals one n p i x i minus mu two w h e r e mu equals I equals one N P I X I Display style sigma equals SQRT sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I X underscore I mu carrot two room where mu equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N P underscore I X underscore I Topic: Continuous random variable. The standard deviation of a continuous real-valued random variable x with probability density function p x is sigma equals x x minus mu two p x d x w H E R E mu equals X X P X D X Display style sigma equals sqrt int underscore math bf x x mu carrot two p x room d x room where mu equals int underscore math bf x x p x room d x and where the integrals are definite integrals taken for x ranging over the set of possible values of the random variable x. In the case of a parametric family of distributions, the standard deviation can be expressed in terms of the parameters. For example, in the case of the log normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma 2, the standard deviation is e sigma 2 minus 1 e 2 mu plus sigma 2 Display style sqrt e caret sigma caret 2 minus 1 e caret 2 mu plus sigma caret 2 Topic Estimation One can find the standard deviation of an entire population in cases such as standardized testing where every member of a population is sampled. In cases where that cannot be done, the standard deviation sigma is estimated by examining a random sample taken from the population and computing a statistic of the sample, which is used as an estimate of the population standard deviation. Such a statistic is called an estimator, and the estimator or the value of the estimator, namely the estimate, is called a sample standard deviation, and is denoted by S, possibly with modifiers. However, unlike in the case of estimating the population mean, for which the sample mean is a simple estimator with many desirable properties unbiased, efficient, maximum likelihood, there is no single estimator for the standard deviation with all these properties, an unbiased estimation of standard deviation is a very technically involved problem. Most often, the standard deviation is estimated using the corrected sample standard deviation using n-1, defined below, and this is often referred to as the sample standard deviation, without qualifiers. However, other estimators are better in other respects. The uncorrected estimator using n yields lower mean squared error, while using n-1.5 for the normal distribution almost completely eliminates bias. Topic. Uncorrected sample standard deviation 
The formula for the population standard deviation of a finite population can be applied to the sample, using the size of the sample as the size of the population, though the actual population size from which the sample is drawn may be much larger. This estimator, denoted by Sn, is known as the uncorrected sample standard deviation, or sometimes the standard deviation of the sample, considered as the entire population, and is defined as follows S n equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 display style s underscore n equals sqrt frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i bar x caret 2 where x 1 x 2 x n display style text style x underscore 1 x underscore 2 l dots x underscore n are the observed values of the sample items and x display style text style bar x is the mean value of these observations while the denominator n stands for the size of the sample this is the square root of the sample variance which is the average of the squared deviations about the sample mean this is a consistent estimator it converges in probability to the population value as the number of samples goes to infinity and is the maximum likelihood estimate when the population is normally distributed however this is a biased estimator as the estimates are generally too low the bias decreases as sample size grows, dropping off as 1, n, and thus is most significant for small or moderate sample sizes. For n greater than 75, display style n greater than 75, the bias is below 1%. Thus, for very large sample sizes, the uncorrected sample standard deviation is generally acceptable. This estimator also has a uniformly smaller mean squared error than the corrected sample standard deviation. Topic: Corrected sample standard deviation. If the biased sample variance, the second central moment of the sample, which is a downward biased estimate of the population variance, is used to compute an estimate of the population's standard deviation, the result is S N equals one N I equals one N X I minus X two Display style S underscore N equals SQRT frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N X underscore I overline X carrot two here taking the square root introduces further downward bias, by Jensen's inequality, due to the square roots being a concave function. The bias in the variance is easily corrected, but the bias from the square root is more difficult to correct, and depends on the distribution in question. An unbiased estimator for the variance is given by applying Bessel's correction, using n-1 instead of n to yield the unbiased sample variance, denoted s2 s2 equals 1 n minus 1 i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 Display style s carrot two equals frac one n one sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i overline x carrot two this estimator is unbiased if the variance exists and the sample values are drawn independently with replacement. n minus 1 corresponds to the number of degrees of freedom in the vector of deviations from the mean x 1 minus x x n minus x Display style text style x underscore one overline x dots x underscore n overline x. Taking square roots reintroduces bias because the square root is a nonlinear function which does not commute with the expectation, yielding the corrected sample standard deviation denoted by s s equals one 
n minus 1 i equals 1 n x i minus x 2 Display style s equals sqrt frac one n one sum underscore i equals one caret n x underscore i overline x caret two. As explained above, while s two is an unbiased estimator for the population variance, s is still a biased estimator for the population standard deviation, though markedly less biased than the uncorrected sample standard deviation. This estimator is commonly used and generally known simply as the sample standard deviation. The bias may still be large for small samples n less than 10. As sample size increases, the amount of bias decreases. We obtain more information and the difference between 1 n display style frac 1 n and 1 n minus 1 display style frac 1 n 1 becomes smaller. Topic. Unbiased sample standard deviation For unbiased estimation of standard deviation, there is no formula that works across all distributions, unlike for mean and variance. Instead, S is used as a basis, and is scaled by a correction factor to produce an unbiased estimate. For the normal distribution, an unbiased estimator is given by S, C4, where the correction factor, which depends on N, is given in terms of the gamma function, and equals C4 N equals 2 N minus 1 gamma N 2 gamma N minus 1 2 Display style C underscore four N equals SQRT frac two N one frac gamma left frac N two right gamma left frac N one two right this arises because the sampling distribution of the sample standard deviation follows a scaled chi distribution, and the correction factor is the mean of the chi distribution. An approximation can be given by replacing N minus one with N minus one point five, yielding Sigma carrot equals one N minus one five I equals one N X I minus X two Display style hat sigma equals SQRT frac one N one 5 sum underscore i equals 1 carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot 2 the error in this approximation decays quadratically as 1 n 2 and it is suited for all but the smallest samples or highest precision for n topic 3 the bias is equal to 1.3% and for n 9 The bias is already less than 0.1%. A more accurate approximation is to replace n minus 1.5 display style n 1.5 above with n minus 1.5 plus 1 8 n minus 1 Display style n 1.5 plus 1 8 n 1. For other distributions, the correct formula depends on the distribution, but a rule of thumb is to use the further refinement of the approximation. Sigma caret equals 1 n minus 1.5 minus 1 4 gamma 2 equals 1 n x i minus x 2 
Display style hat sigma equals sqrt frac one n one point five tfrac one four gamma underscore two sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i bar x carrot two, where gamma two denotes the population excess ketosis. The excess ketosis may be either known beforehand for certain distributions or estimated from the data. Topic confidence interval of a sampled standard deviation The standard deviation we obtain by sampling a distribution is itself not absolutely accurate, both for mathematical reasons explained here by the confidence interval and for practical reasons of measurement, measurement error. The mathematical effect can be described by the confidence interval or C. To show how a larger sample will make the confidence interval narrower, consider the following examples. A small population of n equals 2 has only one degree of freedom for estimating the standard deviation. The result is that a 95% C of the SD runs from 0.45 times SD to 31.9 times SD. The factors here are as follows: PR Q alpha 2 KS 2 sigma 2 Q1 minus alpha 2 equals 1 minus alpha. Display style PR left Q underscore frac alpha 2, where QP display style Q underscore P is the pth quantile of the chi square distribution with k degrees of freedom, and 1 minus alpha display style 1 alpha is the confidence level. This is equivalent to the following, PR, KS2 Q1 minus alpha 2 sigma 2 KS2 Q alpha 2 equals 1 minus alpha, display style, PR, left, K, frac, S carrot 2, Q underscore, 1, frac, alpha, 2, with K equals 1, Q 0.025 equals 0.00982, display style, Q underscore, 0.025 equals 0.00982, and Q 0.975 equals 5.024, display style, Style Q underscore zero point nine seven five equals five point zero two four. The reciprocals of the square roots of these two numbers give us the factors zero point four five and thirty one point nine given above. A larger population of n equals ten has nine degrees of freedom for estimating the standard deviation. The same computations as above give us in this case a 95% C running from zero point six nine times SD to one point eight three times SD. So even with a sample population of 10, the actual SD can still be almost a factor 2 higher than the sampled SD. For a sample population n equals 100, this is down to 0.88 times SD to 1.16 times SD. To be more certain that the sampled SD is close to the actual SD we need to sample a large number of points. These same formulae can be used to obtain confidence intervals on the variance of residuals from a least squares fit under standard normal theory, where k is now the number of degrees of freedom for error. Topic. Bounds on standard deviation For a set of n greater than 4 data spanning a range of values r, an upper bound on the standard deviation s is given by s equals 0.6 r. An estimate of the standard deviation for n greater than 100 data taken to be approximately normal follows from the heuristic that 95% of the area under the normal curve lies roughly two standard deviations to either side of the mean, so that, with 95% probability the total range of values r represents four standard deviations so that s approximately equals r, 4. This so-called range rule is useful in sample size estimation, as the range of possible values is easier to estimate than the standard deviation. Other devices potassium nitride of the range such that s approximately equals r, potassium nitride are available for other values of n and for non-normal distributions. Topic. Identities and mathematical properties The standard deviation is invariant under changes in location, and scales directly with the scale of the random variable. Thus, for a constant c and random variables x and y, sigma c equals zero. Display style sigma c equals zero. Sigma x plus c equals sigma x. Display style sigma x plus c equals sigma x. Sigma C x equals C sigma x 
Display style sigma c x equals c sigma x. The standard deviation of the sum of two random variables can be related to their individual standard deviations and the covariance between them. Sigma x plus y equals var x plus var y plus two cov x y display style sigma x plus y equals sqrt operator name var x plus operator name var y plus two operator name cov x y where var equals sigma two display style text style operator name var equals sigma caret two and cov display style text style operator name cov stand for variance and covariance respectively the calculation of the sum of squared deviations can be related to moments calculated directly from the data in the following formula the letter e is interpreted to mean expected value ie mean sigma x equals e x minus e x 2 equals e x 2 minus e x 2 Display style sigma x equals sqrt operator name e x operator name e x caret two equals sqrt operator name e x caret two operator name e x caret two. The sample standard deviation can be computed as s x equals n n minus one e x minus e x 2 display style s x equals sqrt frac n n 1 sqrt operator name e x operator name e x caret 2 for a finite population with equal probabilities at all points we have 1 n i equals 1 n x I minus x two equals one N I equals one N x I two minus x two equals one N I equals one N X I two minus one N I equals one N X I two Display style SQRT frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I overline x carrot two equals SQRT frac one N left sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I carrot two right overline x carrot two equals SQRT left frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I carrot two right left frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore Score I right carrot two. This means that the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the difference between the average of the squares of the values and the square of the average value. See computational formula for the variance for proof and for an analogous result for the sample standard deviation. Topic: Interpretation and application. A large standard deviation indicates that the data points can spread far from the mean and a small standard deviation indicates that they are clustered closely around the mean. For example, each of the three populations 0, 0, 14, 14, 0, 6, 8, 14 and 6, 6, 8, 8 has a mean of 7. 
The standard deviations are 7, 5, and 1, respectively. The third population has a much smaller standard deviation than the other two because its values are all close to 7. It will have the same units as the data points themselves. If, for instance, the data set 0, 6, 8, 14 represents the ages of a population of four siblings in years, the standard deviation is five years. As another example, the population 1000, 1006, 1008, 1014 may represent the distances traveled by four athletes, measured in meters. It has a mean of 1007 meters, and a standard deviation of 5 meters. Standard deviation may serve as a measure of uncertainty. In physical science, for example, the reported standard deviation of a group of repeated measurements gives the precision of those measurements. When deciding whether measurements agree with a theoretical prediction, the standard deviation of those measurements is of crucial importance. If the mean of the measurements is too far away from the prediction with the distance measured in standard deviations, then the theory being tested probably needs to be revised. This makes sense since they fall outside the range of values that could reasonably be expected to occur, if the prediction were correct and the standard deviation appropriately quantified. See prediction interval. While the standard deviation does measure how far typical values tend to be from the mean, other measures are available. An example is the mean absolute deviation, which might be considered a more direct measure of average distance, compared to the root mean square distance inherent in the standard deviation. Topic. Application examples The practical value of understanding the standard deviation of a set of values is in appreciating how much variation there is from the average mean. Topic. Experiment, industrial and hypothesis testing Standard deviation is often used to compare real-world data against a model to test the model. For example, in industrial applications the weight of products coming off a production line may need to comply with a legally required value. By weighing some fraction of the products an average weight can be found, which will always be slightly different to the long-term average. By using standard deviations, a minimum and maximum value can be calculated that the averaged weight will be within some very high percentage of the time, 99.9% .9 or more. If it falls outside the range then the production process may need to be corrected. Statistical tests such as these are particularly important when the testing is relatively expensive. For example, if the product needs to be opened and drained and weighed, or if the product was otherwise used up by the test. In experimental science, a theoretical model of reality is used. Particle physics conventionally uses a standard of 5 sigma for the declaration of a discovery. A 5 sigma level translates to one chance in 3.5 million that a random fluctuation would yield the result. This level of certainty was required in order to assert that a particle consistent with the Higgs boson had been discovered in two independent experiments at CERN, and this was also the significance level leading to the declaration of the first detection of gravitational waves. Topic. Weather As a simple example, consider the average daily maximum temperatures for two cities, one inland and one on the coast. It is helpful to understand that the range of daily maximum temperatures for cities near the coast is smaller than for cities inland. Thus, while these two cities may each have the same average maximum temperature, the standard deviation of the daily maximum temperature for the coastal city will be less than that of the inland city as, on any particular day, the actual maximum temperature is more likely to be farther from the average maximum temperature for the inland city than for the coastal one. Topic. Finance In finance, standard deviation is often used as a measure of the risk associated with price fluctuations of a given asset stocks, bonds, property, etc., or the risk of a portfolio of assets actively managed mutual funds, index mutual funds, or ETFs. Risk is an important factor in determining how to efficiently manage a portfolio of investments because it determines the variation in returns on the asset and or portfolio and gives investors a mathematical basis for investment decisions known as mean variance optimization. The fundamental concept of risk is that as it increases, the expected return on an investment should increase as well, an increase known as the risk premium. 
In other words, investors should expect a higher return on an investment when that investment carries a higher level of risk or uncertainty. When evaluating investments, investors should estimate both the expected return and the uncertainty of future returns. Standard deviation provides a quantified estimate of the uncertainty of future returns. For example, assume an investor had to choose between two stocks. Stocker over the past 20 years had an average return of 10%, with a standard deviation of 20 percentage points, PP, and stock B, over the same period, had average returns of 12%, but a higher standard deviation of 30 PP. On the basis of risk and return, an investor may decide that stock A is the safer choice, because stock B's additional 2 percentage points of return is not worth the additional 10 PP standard deviation, greater risk or uncertainty of the expected return. Stock B is likely to fall short of the initial investment but also to exceed the initial investment more often than stock A under the same circumstances, and is estimated to return only 2% more on average. In this example, stock A is expected to earn about 10%, plus or minus 20 pp, a range of 30% to minus 10%, about two-thirds of the future year returns. When considering more extreme possible returns or outcomes in future, an investor should expect results of as much as 10% plus or minus 60 pp, or a range from 70% to minus 50%, which includes outcomes for three standard deviations from the average return about 99.7% of probable returns. Calculating the average or arithmetic mean of the return of a security over a given period will generate the expected return of the asset. For each period, subtracting the expected return from the actual return results in the difference from the mean. Squaring the difference in each period and taking the average gives the overall variance of the return of the asset. The larger the variance, the greater risk the security carries. Finding the square root of this variance will give the standard deviation of the investment tool in question. Population standard deviation is used to set the width of Bollinger Bands, a widely adopted technical analysis tool. For example, the upper Bollinger Band is given as x plus n sigma x. The most commonly used value for n is 2. There is about a 5% chance of going outside, assuming a normal distribution of returns. Financial time series are known to be non-stationary series, whereas the statistical calculations above, such as standard deviation, apply only to stationary series. To apply the above statistical tools to non-stationary series, the series first must be transformed to a stationary series, enabling use of statistical tools that now have a valid basis from which to work. Topic. Geometric interpretation To gain some geometric insights and clarification, we will start with a population of three values, x1, x2, x3. This defines a point P. Topic x1, x2, x3 in R3. Consider the line L. R, 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 R element of R. This is the main diagonal going through the origin. If our three given values were all equal, then the standard deviation would be zero and P would lie on L so it is not unreasonable to assume that the standard deviation is related to the distance of P to L. That is indeed the case. To move orthogonally from L to the point P, one begins at the point M equals X X X Display style M equals overline X overline X overline X whose coordinates are the mean of the values we started out with. A little algebra shows that the distance between P and M, which is the same as the orthogonal distance between P and the line L, I X I minus X 2 Display style SQRT sum limits underscore I X underscore I overline X carrot 2 is equal to the standard deviation of the vector x1, x2, x3, multiplied by the square root of the number of dimensions of the vector 3 in this case. Topic. Chebyshev's inequality An observation is rarely more than a few standard deviations away from the mean. 
Chebyshev's inequality ensures that, for all distributions for which the standard deviation is defined, the amount of data within a number of standard deviations of the mean is at least as much as given in the following table. Topic. Rules for normally distributed data The central limit theorem states that the distribution of an average of many independent, identically distributed random variables tends toward the famous bell-shaped normal distribution with a probability density function of f x mu sigma 2 equals 1 sigma 2 pi e minus 1 2 x minus mu sigma 2 display style f x mu sigma carrot 2 equals frac 1 sigma sqrt 2 pi e carrot frac 1 2 left frac x mu sigma right carrot 2 where mu is the expected value of the random variables, sigma equals the distribution's standard deviation divided by n one half, and n is the number of random variables. The standard deviation therefore is simply a scaling variable that adjusts how broad the curve will be, though it also appears in the normalizing constant. If a data distribution is approximately normal, then the proportion of data values within z standard deviations of the mean is defined by proportion equals Earth Z two display style text proportion equals operator name Earth left frac Z sqrt two right where Earth display style text style operator name Earth is the error function. The proportion that is less than or equal to a number x is given by the cumulative distribution function proportion x equals 1 2 1 plus earth x minus mu sigma 2 equals 1 2 1 plus earth z 2 Display style text proportion LEQX equals frac one two left one plus operator name Earth left frac x mu sigma SQRT two right right equals frac one two left one plus operator name Earth left frac Z SQRT two right right if a data distribution is approximately normal then about 68% of the data values are within one standard deviation of the mean mathematically mu plus or minus sigma where mu is the arithmetic mean about 95% are within two standard deviations mu plus or minus 2 sigma and about 99.7% lie within three standard deviations mu plus or minus 3 sigma this is known as the 68 to 95 minus 99.7 rule or the empirical rule for various values of z, the percentage of values expected to lie in and outside the symmetric interval, c equals minus z sigma, z sigma, are as follows equals topic relationship between standard deviation and mean equals the mean and the standard deviation of a set of data are descriptive statistics usually reported together. In a certain sense, the standard deviation is a natural measure of statistical dispersion if the center of the data is measured about the mean. This is because the standard deviation from the mean is smaller than from any other point. The precise statement is the following, suppose x1 xn are real numbers and define the function sigma r equals 1 n minus 1 i equals 1 n x i minus r 2 Display style sigma r equals sqrt frac 1 n 1 sum underscore i equals 1 carrot n x underscore i r carrot 2 
using calculus or by completing the square, it is possible to show that sigma r has a unique minimum at the mean r equals x. Display style r equals overline x. Variability can also be measured by the coefficient of variation, which is the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean. It is a dimensionless number. Topic standard deviation of the mean Often, we want some information about the precision of the mean we obtained. We can obtain this by determining the standard deviation of the sampled mean. Assuming statistical independence of the values in the sample, the standard deviation of the mean is related to the standard deviation of the distribution by sigma mean equals 1 n sigma display style sigma underscore text mean equals frac 1 sqrt n sigma where n is the number of observations in the sample used to estimate the mean. This can easily be proven with see basic properties of the variance var x sigma x2 var x1 plus x2 var x1 plus var x2 display style begin aligned operator name var x and equivalent sigma underscore x caret 2 operator name var x underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 and equivalent operator name var x underscore 1 plus operator name var x underscore 2 end aligned statistical independence is assumed var cx1 c2 var x1 display style begin aligned operator name var cx underscore 1 and equivalent c caret 2 operator name var x underscore 1 end aligned hence var mean equals var 1 ni equals 1 nxi equals 1 n2 var i equals 1 n x i equals 1 n 2 i equals 1 n var x i equals n n 2 var x equals 1 n var x Display style begin aligned operator name var text mean and equals operator name var left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i right equals frac one n carrot two operator name var left sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i right and equals frac one n carrot two sum underscore i equals one carrot n operator name var x underscore i equals frac n n carrot two operator name var x equals frac 1 n operator name var x end aligned resulting in sigma mean equals sigma n display style sigma underscore text mean equals frac sigma sqrt n it should be emphasized that in order to estimate the standard deviation of the mean sigma mean display style sigma underscore text mean it is necessary to know the standard deviation of the entire population sigma display style sigma beforehand However, in most applications this parameter is unknown. For example, if a series of 10 measurements of a previously unknown quantity is performed in a laboratory, it is possible to calculate the resulting sample mean and sample standard deviation, but it is impossible to calculate the standard deviation of the mean. Topic. Rapid calculation methods The following two formulas can represent a running repeatedly updated standard deviation. A set of two power sums S1 and S2 are computed over a set of n values of x, denoted as x1 xn S j equals k equals 1 n x k j Display style S underscore J equals sum underscore K equals one carrot N x underscore K carrot J. Given the results of these running summations, the values N, S1, S2 can be used at any time to compute the current value of the running standard deviation. Sigma equals N S two minus S one two n display style sigma equals frac sqrt n underscore 2 s underscore 1 caret 2 n 
where n, as mentioned above, is the size of the set of values or can also be regarded as S0. Similarly for sample standard deviation, S equals n S2 minus S1 2 n n minus 1 Display style s equals sqrt frac ns underscore two s underscore one carrot two n n one in a computer implementation. As the three sj sums become large, we need to consider round off error, arithmetic overflow, and arithmetic underflow. The method below calculates the running sums method with reduced rounding errors. This is a one pass algorithm for calculating variance of n samples without the need to store prior data during the calculation. Applying this method to a time series will result in successive values of standard deviation corresponding to n data points as n grows larger with each new sample, rather than a constant width sliding window calculation. For k equals 1, n, a0 equals 0 a k equals a k minus 1 plus x k minus a k minus 1 k display style begin aligned a underscore 0 and equals 0 a underscore k and equals a underscore k1 plus frac x underscore k a underscore k1 k end aligned where a is the mean value. Q 0 equals 0 Q K equals Q K minus one plus K minus one K X K minus A K minus one two equals Q K minus one plus x k minus a k minus one x k minus a k Display style begin aligned q underscore zero and equals zero q underscore k and equals q underscore k one plus frac k one k x underscore k or underscore k one carrot two equals q underscore k one plus x underscore k or underscore k one x underscore k or underscore k end aligned note q one equals zero display style q underscore one equals zero since k minus one equals zero display style k one equals zero or x1 equals a 1, display style x underscore 1 equals a underscore 1, sample variance, SN2 equals QNN minus 1, display style S underscore N, carrot 2 equals frac Q underscore N, N1, population variance, sigma N2 equals QNN, display style sigma underscore N, carrot 2 equals frac Q underscore N, N. Topic Weighted calculation When the values she are weighted with unequal weights y, the power sums S0, S1, S2 are each computed as S J equals K equals 1 N W K X K J Display style S underscore J equals sum underscore K equals one carrot N W underscore K X underscore K carrot J and the standard deviation equations remain unchanged. Note that S0 is now the sum of the weights and not the number of samples N. The incremental method with reduced rounding errors can also be applied, with some additional complexity. A running sum of weights must be computed for each k from 1 to n, w0 equals 0 wk equals wk minus 1 plus wk display style begin aligned w underscore 0 and equals 0 w underscore k and equals w underscore k1 plus w underscore k end aligned and places where 1, n is used above must be replaced by y, wn, a 0 equals 0 ak equals ak minus 1 plus wk wk x k minus a k minus 1 
Q zero equals zero Q K equals Q K minus one plus W K W K minus one W K X K minus A K minus one two equals Q K minus one plus W K X K minus A K minus one X K minus A K display style begin aligned a underscore zero and equals zero a underscore K and equals a underscore K one plus frac W underscore K W underscore K X underscore K a underscore K one Q underscore zero and equals zero Q underscore K and equals Q underscore K one plus frac W underscore K W underscore K one W underscore K X underscore K R underscore K one carrot two equals Q underscore K one plus W underscore K X underscore K R underscore K one X underscore K R underscore K end aligned in the final division Sigma N two equals Q N W N display style Sigma underscore N carrot two equals frac Q underscore N W underscore N and S N two equals Q N W N minus one display style S underscore N carrot two equals frac Q underscore N W underscore N minus one or S N two equals N N minus one Sigma N two Display style S underscore N carrot two equals frac N and minus one Sigma underscore N carrot two where N is the total number of elements, and N is the number of elements with non zero weights. The above formulas become equal to the simpler formulas given above if weights are taken as equal to 1. History The term standard deviation was first used in writing by Carl Pearson in 1894, following his use of it in lectures. This was as a replacement for earlier alternative names for the same idea, for example, Gauss used mean error equals equals see also